Let's talk about what temperature your water heater should be set at. In this case, this is a residential application, electric water heater. We want the water heater to be set at 120 degrees. 120 degrees is a safe limit at the tap, the tap being whatever you're dispensing the water at, whether it be a tub faucet or a kitchen sink faucet. Now this is going to completely depend on your type of layout. Some of you might have more complicated plumbing systems that require a higher temperature of water to work properly. Most commercial applications, most times the water heater is actually set at a higher limit, but then they also have a bunch of other mechanical adapters and stuff like that to temper the water where it's safe. 120 degree water can still scold somebody, but generally it is safe enough to work with. Somebody, you can actually temper the water at the tap. Anything above that increases the risk of scalding. As it turns out, every water heater has a chart that shows how fast you can get scalded depending on what type of temperature the water heater is set at. So you can reference that chart right here. I don't know if you can see this, but here they have a big old danger sign. It says hot. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Now from here, right below that, there's another chart there and that shows you how fast you can scold it depending on the temperature of water that you have set it. So that'd be a good reference for you if you're trying to figure out the danger that you're, you're willing to take on to yourself. But for the most part, 120 is where you want to set it at. It is regulated by the U.S. I forget what it's called. U.S. Anti-Scold Codes and Regulations. So you definitely want to kind of stay in line with that, but any adjustments that you make are at your own risk. Now, a plumber was usually going to set the temperature at 120 degrees. If there's other things going on, he might set it a little higher. But what the delivery temperature that we want at the tap is always going to be 120 because it's just dangerous to go any higher than that. So I want to explain to you how to adjust the temperature on an electric water heater. Electric water heaters are a little bit more difficult than gas water heaters. Gas water heaters are painfully easy. Electric water heaters require a little bit of extra steps. So first thing we're going to need to do is take apart the cover panels for the thermostats. Now, it depends on the type of heater you have. Some water heaters will actually only have one cover panel, and they're usually smaller water heaters. If it only has one, nothing to worry about there. It's still a normal water heater. You don't have to go looking for other places to take apart. Your water heater might only have one. But the cover panel essentially covers the thermostat and the element. Um, we want to be careful when we take this thing apart because there is live power in there, and you don't want to shock yourself. So this one has one up here, one down there. We're going to take these things apart. I'll show you how to get in there, adjust the temperature, what to look out for, and, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So how to adjust the temperature on an electric water heater? Pretty much, like I said before, the thermostat's going to be located behind this cover panel here. So first thing I'm going to do is take this thing off. Just like that. Slides out of there like that. Next thing is, this is the part you kind of want to be careful with. You want to make sure that you don't stick your fingers in the wrong place because you will shock yourself. Um, so if it feels you more comfortable, turn the power off to the water heater. Just go find the breaker, turn it off. I've been doing this for a while, so I'm comfortable doing this live. So pretty much what I'm going to do is just move the wire, the wire over like that. Move it here. This is the insulation that I was referring to before. So every water heater has insulation of varied thicknesses. This is a newer heater, so it has a little bit thicker insulation there. But this essentially retains the heat in the water heater tank and dampens the sound from whatever's happening with the heating process. So heat retention and sound dampening. If you want to dampen the sound more, you would take more of this type of stuff and just wrap it in the heater. So we'll take and just fold that up there. Now, the thermostat itself is behind this gray panel here. They have this thing here to keep you from sticking your fingers in the wrong place. So it makes it so that you don't you know, hurt yourself. Look at that electrical shock hazard right there. Can't miss it. So to adjust the temperature on this thing, there is a screw right where the thermostat is. And you'll see that there's actually different temperature settings on there. So there's a 120, 150, and 180 setting. Every water heater thermostat might look a little bit different, but if you see degrees on the thermostat, you're in the right place. So what I'm gonna do here is take the flathead, Stick it right in there and we can change the temperature by simply going like that. Once you get in there, it's super simple. It's just getting to the thermostat that takes all the work. So we put that thing back. Now we'll put it all back together. Shove this wire through here. Fold it over. 
voila. And that's it. So pretty much what you're going to do is repeat that process for the bottom one. When you adjust the temperature on a water heater, you want to make sure the thermostats are set to the same temperature top and bottom. That way you have consistent heating going on there. So now let's talk about how to adjust the temperature on a gas water heater. Like I said before, super simple, no tools needed for this type of, this type of adjustment. So what I'm going to do is just grab this knob here. Now most gas water heaters will have a control valve like this with some sort of knob. This is a big beefy knob. Some of them have tiny, tiny little knobs that you have to twist with your finger. This one's pretty nice because it's easy to grab a hold of. So you, I'm going to grab this thing and the way that I increase temperature is just by turning this dial here counterclockwise. And if you can see, there's actually letters there. The letters indicate the temperature that it's being turned to. So A is usually a lower temperature, B is higher, and C is, like they said right there, very hot. Right now, the water heater is actually set to the setting A. And so A lines up with that notch there. So that means it's set to A. Now, if we want to adjust the temperature, all we have to do is take this knob and turn it like that. And that will increase the temperature. If I want to turn it back down, I just turn it in the reverse direction. And they even have a setting way down here that says low. This is usually like a vacation mode type thing. Like if you want to go out on vacation or you plan not to be home for a while, you can turn it to the low setting and that'll keep the burner from not operating um, so frequently during the day, trying to keep all of that water hot. So I'm going to turn this back up to the setting that it was before, which is A. And it's as simple as that. It's literally just an adjustment with that knob. You just turn it left or right. Like I said, some other valves are a little different. They have an even smaller knob. One thing to take note here is this valve in particular has these A, B, and C indicators. These letters don't correspond with any temperature listed on the water heater. Normally, water heaters will have a sticker on the side of the water heater that'll say what adjustment temperature is what. In this case, it's not listed on this water heater. So if you turn it to B, there's nothing on here that says B is, you know, 140 degrees. Now, I can tell you, rule of thumb, 120 is usually the A setting. 140 is usually the B setting. If you feel like you need it adjusted higher, test it at the tap using a thermometer. So just run some water and put the, a thermometer under there just to confirm that, that temperature is whatever you set it to. Usually A is 120. For the sake of safety, if you don't see a chart, just make sure you take a thermometer and test the temperature yourself to make sure that you're not making the water too hot. Well, there you have it. That's how you adjust the temperature on a gas water heater. If you found this information helpful, please give us a like and let us know. Share in the comments if there's anything that we could have added or if you have any other questions on how to adjust the temperature or anything else. Thanks for watching, everyone.